I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on rank of word. We'll now find rank of a word where letters are repeated. The question here is, what is the rank of word Toronto? Let's write it big and bold. T-O-R-O-N-T-O, -O, Toronto, right? Now it's a big word where T's are repeated, O's are repeated. How to find rank of such a word? We'll use the shortcut method, right? So first step is arrange these letters in alphabetical order. So if we see the alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N comes first, right? Let me write them here now, N. O, P, Q, R, S, T. So it has only four letters. Arranging them in order, ranking them. N comes first, so we'll give 1 to N, 2 to O, 3 to R, 4 to T. So in our shortcut method, what we do is, we write these numbers correspondingly on the letters, right? So T is 4, let me write 4 here, for all the T's which we have. O is 2, okay, let's write 2 for all O's. R is 3, fine, N is 1. So that is their corresponding, I should say, priority, right? Alphabetically, out of these letters, N comes first. So we're given it one and T comes last. Now, when we say rank of word, we're trying to find all combination of words with these letters taken together. And if we arrange them in alphabetical order, where will Toronto appear? So that position is called the rank of the word. Perfect. So we have to figure out how many words will come before Toronto, right? Before Toronto. If we arrange them in alphabetical order, right? So T is our key, key word here. But before getting into T, we'll have to look for all the words which will start with N, all the words which will start with O, all the words which will start with R, they rank higher than Toronto. And then T will come. So the concept and shortcut is, our position T takes number four. On the right side, we count how many positions have lower number than 4. That is what it begins with. So on the right side of 4, we have 2, 3, 2, 1, 4, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are such letters which, whose number is less than 4. So we write this here, 5. This procedure is continued. So on the right side of O, there is only one letter N which will follow O. So we will write 1 here. For R, which is 3, less than 3 is 1, 2, 3 letters. 2, less than 2 is 1, of course. 1, there cannot be anything less than 1. 4, less than 4 is 2, so we have one of them. And the last letter will always get 0. So that is the first step. Write down how many letters number is less than when looking towards the right side. Now the next step is, as you can understand, using permutations, if I would have started looking for words starting with N, which come before Toronto, we have one, two, three factorial ways, correct? All those letters. So what we do here is, we multiply these by corresponding factorials. Position is zero. Well times this by zero factorial. This one by 1 factorial, this one by 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial, 5 factorial, and 6 factorial. Now that is the case. But what we see here is that there is repetition of words. 
perfect. So these positions O's can be interchanged giving us the same word. So we have to divide by the number of repetitions. So if you look from Toronto side, then what do you observe? We have two T's. So divide by two factorial and one, two, three O's divide by three factorial. Does not make sense to you? This is from the concepts we have learned in permutations. Perfect. Now from O, if you look at, then what do we observe? From O, including O, we have three O's. So that should be divided by three factorial. Okay. We are always looking from the word to the right side. R. We got two O's. So we'll divide this by two factorial. O itself and the next O, two factorial. N, nothing repeats. So one factorial. I mean, there's no need to divide by anything. Is that okay? Anyway, just to maintain the symmetry. So we now know how many words will begin by a particular letter and how many combinations of those will come before Toronto. Now to get the answer, we just add these numbers, multiplying 5 by the number of times this factorial term is, and then finally, those are the words before Toronto, finally we'll add 1 for Toronto itself, right? So that is how we figure it out. So what we do here is we multiply 5 times, so let me rewrite this as 5 times 6 factorial over 2 factorial, 3 factorial, plus we just add them, right? 1 time, let me write dot better, 5 factorial over 3 factorial, plus 3 times 4 factorial over 2 factorial, plus 1 time 3 factorial over 2 factorial, plus 0 times, let me write 2 factorial, plus 1 times 1 factorial, I mean, plus 0 times 1 factorial, I mean, plus, <laughs> okay, plus 1, okay, that's what we got. Now, we can use the calculator to do our calculations, or we can simplify and do it, right? So, anyway, you could do anyway. So, what we get here is, let's do this. So, 3 factorial, or we could write like this, 5 times 6 factorial, right? 6 times 4 times 5, correct? Times 3 factorial, okay. I should have written 6, 5, 4, 3 factorial, anyway. And then we have 2 factorial, which is 2, and 3 factorial is... Oh, let's write like this cancelling 3 factorial and 3 factorial we get our number right which is better to use calculator okay anyway since we did this let's divide this by 2 okay so we get 6 times 5 30 and 30 times uh, uh, what you, okay this is 2 is also there so let's multiply 5 times 2, 10, 6 times 5, 30. So that gives us 300. So this number is 300 for us. Is it okay? Plus. Now 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial. That means 5 times 4, which is 20, right? Okay. These are smaller numbers. We could do without calculator. Now 3 times 4 factorial means 3 times 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, plus 3 by 2 factorial 3 plus that's easy plus 1 plus 0 and plus 1 the position of Toronto itself perfect so we got our numbers we just have to add them up now so we get let's add carrying is very difficult 300 plus 20 plus 36 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1, avoiding those two zeros, we get 361. Okay. Anyway, we got our answer, which with my calculations is 361. I may have done some mistake, but I hope you have understood the method, right? So the idea is, 
To rank a word really means if you find all possible combination of words using those letters and arrange them in alphabetical order, where will the word appear? So here's a shortcut method to find its position, which is called the rank. So what you do is you assign numbers to each letter based on their alphabetical order. Once you've done that, you need to look on the right side of the number for numbers which are smaller than the position number. So for T, 4 was the position. All numbers are lesser than or come before, right? So we just count them, write it under it. Once you've done that, you multiply these position numbers by 0 factorial, 1 factorial, 2, 3, 4 factorial, 5 and 6 factorial meaning that there are so many words which can be formed, right? Since we have a case of repetition, you have to divide those by number of letters being repeated. So that is directly from permutations which you have learned. Now multiply these two, add them up to get the position of numbers before the number. So Toronto will be the next position, so plus one for that. I hope it's absolutely clear. That is how you can use the shortcut method to find rank of any word. I hope that helps. You can always post questions. Feel free to share my videos and subscribe to them. Thanks for watching and all the best.